So, Sir Mors, you are the sole survivor of this sinister tale. It is always so sad to see such an old friendship come to ruin. I have no patience for your honeyed words, eunuch. Give me the child, quickly. Very well, sir. You have earned it well. Take him. Earned? No victory should require so much sacrifice. But I imagine that you have it all planned out, do you not? To you, we are nothing more than flies trapped in your webs of intrigue. You do imagine such dark things about me, my friend. Tell me, rather, what do you plan to do with the child? The child deserves a better father than myself. My life has been naught but fighting and suffering. You have proven yourself more trustworthy than I would have dared to believe, Ferris. The gods leave me with little choice. I'm entrusting the child to your care. Try to take him to safety. Do not make me regret this decision, or I will find you. I trust you on that front, sir. But do not fret. I will ensure that the child is no longer exposed to the trials and tribulations of the kingdom. He will grow up in the east. It is best for him as well as for Westeros. And you? I suppose you intend to return to the war? I belong to the Night's Watch. For this night, and all the nights to come. We have gathered today to judge a traitor who chose to break his oath by attempting to desert, by giving your word. You became part of a family, an order which was formed before the Seven Kingdoms even existed. We are the only defense between the Seven Kingdoms and darkness. We cannot fail. Obey your vows. Remain faithful to the Night's Watch, and you will live in honor. Attempt to desert, and you- oh, I give them false hope, Jor. Most of these babes will be dead before winter comes. Mors, you're alive! No. Whether of cold, a wildling's axe, or your own cowardice, you are all just marking time. We are already dead. All of us. Accept it. 